Hello everybody! Today I'm going to show you one more thing with sprites. One last thing, probably, before I get started on programming a full-fledged game. But this thing we're going to learn today is how to do an animation with a sprite character. To do that, you can um, associate a number of bitmap images with one sprite. For instance, in this one, I'm going to have two of them associated with a sprite and have it have this character jump up and down. You can have characters walk across the screen. You can have them do any number of things and actually have it look like they're doing it by animating them. And so here's how I'm going to do this. I'm going to add a sprite. Call a man, associate the bitmap man1 and man2 with it. I'm going to have a background, the same one that um, I've been using, background bg. Um, we'll tell where to tell the um, program where to put the sprite man. So sprite xy man. Let's say 250 and 250. That should be fairly centered. Um, let's see. Don't forget to draw the sprites. And now that we have everything set up for where we want it, let's get started on how to do the actual animation. Um, so I'm going to have a timer every half a second, 500 milliseconds, we'll go to jump. And when we're there, what we'll do, let's introduce a logical variable. When it's zero, he's on the ground, and when it's one, he's in the air. Um, so, if jumping equals zero, then we want to toggle it to when he's in the air, and we'll change the image, print number one, and this is a new command for sprites, sprite image man we want to change to man 2. Man 1 is the one where he's on the ground, man 2 he's in the air. We'll also want to shift him up a, a few pixels. Uh, number 1 sprite xy man 250 is x, he'll stay the same there. 260 we'll say, maybe even 2 270. Nope, nope, nope. I went the wrong way. Remember, it's measured from the top. So if he's jumping up, then we'll do 230. Glad I caught that. Else, if he is in the air, then he'll go to the ground. We'll change the image back to what it was and we'll put his height back to what it was and the if don't forget to draw the sprites wait for the timer Um, down here I'm going to add timer zero, that stops the timer. Make sure the program comes to a complete stop. Uh, do I have everything? Let's see if it works. I went through this whole tutorial previously and it crashed on me, I'm not sure why. Hey look at him, he's jumping! Woohoo! Doing a little workout there. Alrighty. So that's how you can do an animation, and obviously you can be way more advanced than this. I think you can have up to like 
I don't know if there is a limit, but you can have like 15 different bitmaps associated with one sprite, so you can have really elaborate animation if you need to. So, that that's our introduction to animation um, with sprites, and next up, I believe I will get started on programming an entire game. Uh, a rather elaborate game. I'm not sure, I haven't quite decided yet what I'm gonna do, but it should be pretty cool. I've been toying with the idea of doing like a, a 2D portal. You know, I don't know if anybody's done that before, but even if they have, I'm gonna try it, because it looks fun. You know, because you could... Have you ever seen Portal? The uh, Aperture Science, made by Valve. Anyway, check it out on YouTube or something if you don't know what I'm talking about. Anyway, that's that for this tutorial, and subscribe if you like my channel, and see you later.